What's up guys, my name is Adapt and welcome back to another video on the channel and today we're going to be reviewing the 3142. Now, this formation was quite overwhelming when I first looked at it. It's very attacking, we have a left mid, we have a right mid, we have two strikers, we have a DM, we have two centre mids and we have three at the back and obviously we got the goalkeeper in goal but this formation impressed me so much guys it just fitted my style of play perfectly i'm an aggressive player i love to play very attacking i love to utilize the wings and i also like to play a direct style i've got Hedera in the dm role who's going to sit back a bit and provide protection for the center backs and my left mid and right mid will act as full backs when i am being attacked so i enjoyed this formation a lot we're going to get into the pros and cons of it in the gameplay but first of all let me take you guys through the team show you guys the stats and then cast some tactics and the player instructions so first up in goal we had leno now leno i believe i bought him with a shield chem stole so i bought him with a shield chem stole set me back 4.9k his in-game stats are decent and he impressed me a lot he made so many key saves for me and he was just great in game in the center back role we have Bo Tank, who set me back 32,750 coins absolutely amazing in game he was very good defensive wise good interceptions decent pace i think his pace has decreased over the years but he was still okay with the 73 pace it could always be better but it seemed to be good enough in the games i did play 87 stand tackle 88 slide tackle so he's got great tackling stats 91 strength is decent as well 85 marking and he was just an all-round good defender next to him we had tor now tor is decent as well he's got 71 pace he's got 83 defending and 81 physical which makes him okay but that pace helps him out quite a lot because he's able to cover for one of my other center backs if they get caught out of position if my left mid and my right mid don't get back quick enough then the pace always helps on the center backs so 93 strength is going to help him a lot next to him we have Sule now Sule sent me back 9.3k he's average not too great but yet again he's got good stand tackles good slide tackles good strength and he's reasonably decent for a center back his pace is a bit of a letdown but there are defenders with much lower pace now next to Sule we have Kadero now. Now Kadero sent me back 16k. I was looking for a strong German defensive midfielder and Kadero was that guy for me. He fits that CDM role perfectly. He's got a physical presence, he's strong. And for this team you guys can tell already we went for a German theme squad. Now if you guys want me to do any other nations, if you want me to do any hybrids or anything tell me in the comment section down below high high work rates is also essential for a defensive midfielder as well you see that with most great defensive midfielders in this game now getting into his stats he's an all-rounded player except for that pace but that pace isn't that much of a letdown in this formation because you've got Draxler and we have Goretzka I believe who are going to be able to help him in that regard so we've got two center mids to the side of him who are going to make up for any lost pace if he gets caught on the back foot if he just hasn't got enough pace to catch up with other players i've got my center mids to help him now in the right mid role we have Bellarabi. now Bellarabi clutched up a lot in game he was very good 91 pace that pace helped him out a lot and he's an all-rounded player 85 dribbling as well high high work rates we need someone like that especially to play this role of a right mid slash right back in this formation so these are his in-game stats i felt he played a lot better in game but he was just at the right place at the right time every time i needed him he just felt like he was all around the pitch and that's what you get with high high work rates and a quick player as well in the center mid role we have Goretzka now Goretzka has 83 pace 81 dribbling very good stats for a center mid he could even play that DM role if you would like him to four star weak foot this is just a great card high high work rate as well he can literally do everything and 6.2k which is very cheap for a player like Goretzka who can literally do everything he's an all-rounded player 
and he is a player I would rely on to be a playmaker, to be able to do defensive duties, to be able to pick out passes as well. He's just got everything in game and that's why he's very strong in game. Next to him we have Draxler. So Draxler, 5 star weak foot, 4 star skill moves. That 5 star weak foot helps me out a lot because when I'm taking long shots most of the time it's Draxler on the ball. 4 star skill moves as well, he can do most skill moves and he's an all rounded player except for the defending and physical. He can't do the defensive duties but he's got decent pace, he's got good dribbling for a centre midfielder and his long shots are better than 80 in game definitely his passing is decent as well and he cost me 2k so we have Draxler there in the left mid row we have Marco Royce now Marco Royce sent me back 23,250 coins now he's very good haven't got anything bad to say about Marco Royce 4 star 4 star medium medium work rates and you guys can see his stats right there we have a Hawk chem style on him as well. Now getting into his in-game stats, he's got very good acceleration, very good sprint speed. His attacking positioning is decent and his shooting, passing and dribbling is just great for a left mid. Now in that right striker, we have Werner. Now Werner is very good. I believe this is the upgraded version. So 93 pace, his pace is absolutely amazing. And that's something I look for in pretty much every striker I do use except if i'm going for a target man so you've got 82 dribbling here which isn't great but he seemed okay in game 81 shooting his physical and his passing isn't representative of how he is in game because he's 5 foot 11 and he's got that decent physical presence as well so six games three goals four assists he played quite well now getting into his in-game stats that basic chem style is going to improve his all-round card He's got plus 5 sprint speed, which is going to make him even more of a threat when it comes to his pace. His shooting as well, this chem style is going to help his shooting out quite a bit. It just helps him all round, and that 60 strength isn't actually how strong he is in game, because I feel like he's much more better in game. 76 balance could help a bit. It isn't the best balance, but he seems very good in game. Now next to Werner, we have Muller. Now Muller is more of that target man kind of player. He's more of a player you're not going to rely on to get him behind. And um, he has 4 star weak foot, he has high high work rate so he is going to work hard. 6 foot 1, he's got physical presence, sent me back 24,500 coins. And 6 games, 6 goals, 5 assists, which is a decent return for a striker. So in 6 games he's made 11 goal contributions, which is decent. 74 pace, 83 shooting, okay dribbling, 80 passing is going to help when it comes to 1-2 tiki taka play with the two strikers up front and that 71 physical isn't representative of his physical in game because he's tall, he's strong and he's got 87 stamina so that pace he has got is going to last him most of the game. So, 93 attacking positioning, he has very good awareness in game, he's always in the right position when I need him, and he impressed me quite a lot in game just in general. So, that's the squad I am going to be taking into this formation review. Now, let's get into the custom tactics and the play instructions, and I'll be right back. Now, getting into the custom tactics. So, for defensive style, we have pressure on heavy touch, why have I done this? I'm a fan of the structure of the midfield, the attack in this formation. The defense free at the back, you can get away with it with this type of team. If you've got reasonably quick center backs and you've got wingers with decent work rates, players who are going to get back and help when you are being attacked. So pressure on heavy touch, why have I done this? We've got a packed midfield. So as soon as my opposition makes that heavy touch, usually in the defense, then my whole team is going to rush them. Now, if I was to use something like press off the possession loss, I'm going to be out of position more. But if we go on pressure on heavy touch, as soon as my opposition makes that mistake, I've got so many midfielders, I've got two attackers up top as well, who are just going to pounce on every opportunity they can get to win the ball back. So we have width on four bars and we also have depth on four bars. Why have I done that? It's because low width and low depth is kind of the trend on FIFA now. It's extremely overpowered, especially with AI defending. Now for offensive style, we've got fast build up. Now you can play around with this a bit. Some of you might want to use balanced but fast build up would work better for me because I am more of an aggressive player. I take more confidence in my attacking abilities and just like to play quick FIFA. That's just how I like to play. I like to play a more direct style. I'm not saying I don't like to cross at all, 
but I just prefer to play more direct. So with width, we've turned it up a lot because I like to utilize the wings and I like my wingers to get in behind. For players in the box, we have that on four bars because we've got Muller in there. He's six foot something, so he's going to be able to win some headers. We've also got some wingers. They might be able to get at the back post for a back post header. So I'm not completely eliminating the chances of putting a cross into the box. So corners and free kicks, both at two bars. I just prefer to use two bars of corners and free kicks now. Now getting into the instructions, we have all of our centre backs on stay back for attacking. For Draxler, I have him on get forward because he's more my attacking midfielder. Then for Kadera being the defensive midfielder, he's going to be man mark stay back or attacking and cover centre. Cover centre I believe is important because I don't want him invading on Draxler or Goretzka's size of the pitch. This formation is organised very well, it's got a certain structure and I don't want my team breaking that structure. So you've got cover centre because Kadera is mainly going to cover my three centre backs. Next to Kadera we have Goretzka on the right side. So you've got him on balance, I haven't done anything with him because he's a player who can literally do everything on the pitch. Now for our right mid, we have cut inside and get in behind, come back on defence because when I'm being attacked, I want my wingers to act as full backs for me and come back and help out quite a lot. With three back formations, especially formations like this, the 3-5-2, your right mid and your left mid, they need to be working hard. You need to pick them strategically. They need to have decent work rates and they need to have decent pace as well. In the left mid role, we have Royce on cut inside and getting behind also. We also have him on comeback on defence because of what I just explained. I want both of my wingers to get back and act as fullbacks when I'm being attacked. Now getting into the left striker, we have Muller on stay central. We have him on stay forward as well because he's going to be more of that target man, more of that player who's going to hold up play. Maybe if I haven't got any options, he can hold up the ball and wait for a player to make a run off of him. So you've got him on stay central, stay forward. He's also a great header of the ball and he makes a good target man as well. And next to him, we have that player who's extremely rapid in Werner. And that's why we have him on getting behind and stay forward. So guys, those are the custom tactics. Those are the play instructions. This is the team I am going to be taking into the gameplay. Now let's get into the gameplay. Now getting into the gameplay guys, now this formation worked very well for me. It's very good attacking wise, I had the right players in there, right defenders with decent pace. Everything just clicked. My wingers got in behind, my players got in behind down the middle. Everything worked together very well and it catered to a direct style and it also caters to a more crossing style if you guys are more into that. I think all of the players complemented this formation very well, very good on the attack, that's the big pro I think of this formation. Very versatile, play down the wings, I can play down the centre as well and when we are free at the back you'd think not a lot of defensive cover but you'd be surprised. My centre mid helped out a lot, my midfielders were quite quick, they were able to get back and my right mid and my left mid got back quite a lot to help my defence out. Every time I'd be getting attacked, every time my players would be in a tough position, my right mid and left mid would come racing back and help them get the ball back. And it was just great seeing that support from the team, obviously. You're going to need wingers with very good work rates, very disciplined work rates. They need to be getting back. They need to be helping the team out. Otherwise, you're going to find yourself getting exposed down the right and the left sides of the pitch. Werner worked very well in that striker position. I believe we played with two strikers up top. So we had Werner and Muller. They supported each other very well. They played very well quick one two play it was just very nice to see Goretzka he managed to score quite a lot of goals he was always getting in dangerous positions he was always putting in them finesse shots I had very good wingers in Douglas Costa and Bellarabi I can't remember my left mid actually I keep saying Douglas Costa because I usually always use Douglas Costa I can't remember who's on the left in this formation is Royce guys that's it it's Royce he's very good in this game guys 
Race surprised me a lot. Now Bellarabi is underrated so much in this game. The amount of distance he covers, his quick burst of acceleration, he can literally do everything you'd want him to do. Draxlar had very nice trickery in the box. It was good at the drag backs and just causing my opponents a lot of frustration. Now there are some cons to this formation. Maybe sometimes there isn't enough defensive security at the back. Maybe sometimes you can get caught out on the counter attack, but you guys need to make sure you've got your wingers with very good work rates. I need to make sure they're reasonably quick, have reasonably good stamina to get back. You need players with good stamina, guys. That's extremely key in a formation like this as well because you're going to need a lot from them, even from your midfielders as well. Stamina is key in a formation like this. When you've got three at the back, you need to be looking at stamina and you just want the players with the best stamina because it will put you at an advantage because if everyone's covering a lot of ground then obviously that's going to run their stamina down and then later on in the game if you're winning or losing you're going to need that stamina to help you out maybe if you're chasing a goal or maybe if you just need your players to get that bit more back and put in that bit of extra work to make sure you secure your lead so you guys are seeing i'm getting some good results in these games Muller surprised me a lot now him being slow i think maybe that's going to be a huge problem for me maybe i won't have as much of an attacking threat as i would if i had a more quicker player but him and werner complemented each other very well they were both getting in behind Muller was more of a target man he did get in behind sometimes but i had werner always getting in behind my opposition's defense and causing problems, finding himself in that one-on-one -on -one situation pretty much most of the time and Muller was that hold up kind of player. He can also get in behind, don't underestimate him on that but I just wouldn't trust him to get in behind as much as I trust a player, a quick player like Werner. So guys overall I am going to rate this formation an 8 out of 10. I think an 8 is good because this formation was just great for the way I play. For you guys it might not work but if you're more attacking like me, take a lot of confidence in your attacking play then this formation should work for you guys. But if you enjoyed this video, smash that like button guys, subscribe to the channel down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. See you guys later. Peace.